Welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Open After Effects and create a new composition. As always, I'm using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. Now the first step is to create a new solid layer. Now go to the effects and the presets and search for the fractal noise. Apply to the layer and then change the contrast value to 150 and the brightness value to minus 50. Also open transform and change the scale value to around 500. Select the background layer and make a duplicate of it. Let's remove this fractal noise from it. Go to the effects of the presets and search for the grid. Applying it onto the layer and let the just a few settings change the size from two width and height slider. And change the width value to 10. Also the height value will be 10. Now change the border value to nine and then click on this invert grid option. Now we are going to use the track mat for this layer. Make sure the grid layer is placed right below the background and change its track mat. And this is how the background will look now. You can see some tiny grids here. Make one more solid layer. Use a background color for it. And place it right below all layers. Now we are going to add the text. So go to the tools and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen and start typing your text. I am adding the first letter of my text instead of adding the whole word. We will add each letter on individual layers. Right click on your text layer and choose pre-compose. Now open this pre-comp by double-clicking on it, and then we will crop this comp so that the text will fit right inside it. Let's zoom in, and here you will find this region of interest option. Click on it, and then draw a mask around this text layer. Something like this. Make sure the letter is fitting right inside this comp. Then go to the composition and select crop comp for the region of interest, and it will crop this composition. Make sure the letter is fitting right inside this composition, and nothing is cutting out. Now for adding the next text layer, duplicate the text comp from the project panel. Duplicate it as many times your word has letters on it. Now add all the text layers to the timeline. Open each text layer and change the text according to your needs. Make sure to align the text like a word.
Now, one thing we need to do, apply the CC Reptile effect on it by going to the effects and the presets and searching for the CC Reptile. Apply it onto the layer and change the expand down and expand up value by any large number. Copy the effects using Ctrl plus C and paste it to the other text compositions. Now create a rectangle around the text layer so that I can cover all the letters at once. Duplicate the shape and place each of them above each the text compositions. Change the track mat to the above shape layer of each text composition. Now select all of the text layers and press P to open the position. Place a keyframe at 4 second position and come back to 0 second position and adjust the letter's y-axis location. You can play with the setting, I'm just showing you the way. Now select all keyframes, right click on them, go to the keyframe assistant and select Easy ESE. Now open graph editor, in case your graph does not look like this, then right click here and choose edit speed graph. Now select the keyframes and change the curves to something like this. Now the final step. Let's add film bar to it. Create a new solid. Make sure to change its color to black. Now go to the effects and the presets and search for the CC Jaws effect. Apply it onto the top layer and then change its height to 0%. Change the completion to 75%. This is how the animation looks. Select all the texts 
and pre-comp it. We just need to do one thing. Go to Effects and Presets panel and add the fill effect to the text comp. You can change the color here. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the very next episode.